Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my fragrances for 2024. If you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion, handbags and shoes. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So if you have followed me for a long time, you probably know that I'm a big fan of fragrances. However, I don't like heavy fragrances. So if you like heavy fragrances, this video is probably not for you, but I have uh, collected some of my favorite fragrances that I'm going to talk about today. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is this one from Arin. This is their newest fragrance, Rose de Grasse Rouge. Uh, here you can see how it looks. It is very beautiful. I got it in November or December. I'm not a very rose scent person. Whenever I want to wear a rose fragrance, I think this one is beautiful. I think it is a little bit more modern than, for example, the old lady rose scent. So I think this one is very beautiful and I also think it is very sexy. Uh, so the next fragrance that I really like is my signature scent and I think I will wear this one a little bit more in the springtime because in my mind this is a very spring scent. Uh, but this one is Gypsy Water from Bioretto and it is very very good. This one was the scent that actually got me into niche perfumes in the first place. So here you can see how that one looks and it is a very very good scent. I really like the juniper berries. So it's a little bit different than most scents. It also has a very fresh but also very woody note. Uh, I really like it. I think it is a very good scent. The next scent that I have is unfortunately just a 15 milliliter. This is the atomizer from Celine. I have talked about it before. Um, but the scent that I have in this one now is the Parade scent from Celine. It is a very, very good scent. And for me, it is a evening scent because it is a little bit more on the heavier side. And I also think it is a very sexy fragrance. So here you can see how it looks and you can also refill it. So I will probably do that when I go to Paris next time. And next we have a fragrance that I actually got for Christmas. So I haven't used it that much but I got a sample before Christmas so I could try it out and see if I liked it. So this one is from Kilian and it is the flower of immortality and it is just a very very good scent now for uh, spring but also for summer I think because you have that peach which is not too sugary but it smells so good. <laughs> I, I cannot describe it. It is a very very good scent. Um, so I plan to use this one a lot in the summertime and also in the springtime. Now we have come to a fragrance that is very much in my comfort zone. I like to have scents that isn't that strong when I'm home because I can often get a headache and I like these kind of fresh and musky scents that isn't too heavy or sweet. Uh, but this is a fragrance from Guerlain and it is called Eau de Lingerie. And this one is a scent that I really like to wear when I just have showered or if I just want to have a little bit perfume on me and when I'm home alone or when I'm home <laughs> and I don't want to do anything. So this is a perfect scent to have as a layering scent uh, because it is quite simple but at the same time it is enough. Another fragrance that I plan to buy this year is uh, Musk Outer Blank from Guerlain. Uh, I tried it when I was in Paris pretty much every day when I stopped by the store because I was so obsessed with it but I didn't buy it and I really regret that because in Norway we don't have these perfumes in the stores uh, or online so I hope that I can buy it very soon. Now we have another fragrance that I use when I want to feel a little bit extra and a little bit more sexy. This is a perfect scent uh, in my mind. I think it is so good and Kayali, it is one of my favorite brands when it comes to perfume. I think she does such a good job when it comes to scents and layering. It is the Wedding Silk Santal. 36. It is a very very good scent. I really understand why it is so popular. Such a beautiful scent and the notes on this one is sparkling champagne, white freesia, uh, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood and sugared musk. And another favorite of mine <laughs> that is actually empty so I need to repurchase it or I need to refill it because with this brand you can actually refill 
the bottle and it is the brand Le Labo and my favorite and signature scent from them is Another 13. I also have the shower gel in this one and it is so good. It is very different from anything that I have ever smelled before. It is fresh but not in a way that I have smelled before. This is one of my favorite fragrances and we also have another scent that I got for Christmas and it is the Paris Riviera from Chanel. This is going to be my summer perfume. It smells like summer. It smells like you have sunscreen on and you are laying at the beach and you have this sea breeze, flowers and you are tanning in a sunbed. Uh, this one smells like summer for me so therefore I just had to get it. I had a sample of it last summer and it was the sample that I used most frequently because it was so good and it feels like summer for me so therefore I needed to get it and this will be my signature scent for for the summer. And while we are talking about signature scents, uh, we also have another one that I really like to wear now because when the seasons are changing, I like to have something different for every season because scents change a lot. Uh, if it is raining, if it is sunny, if it is cold. Uh, so this one is one of my favorite scents when it comes to uh, winter and also autumn. And it is from the boutique and it is called All Duel. And this is the Eau de Toilette. I also have the Eau de Perfume, but I think I like the Eau de Toilette better. But this one is a little bit more woody and not sweet, but it is very mysterious. But it is this type of scent that I like for winter. And I think it complements the weather. So that's my signature scent when it comes to winter. And lastly, we have my everyday fragrance that I am obsessed with. This is the most perfect scent I have ever tried and I'm so in love with it. I don't know what to do if this one gets discontinued. I have heard rumors about it, so therefore I have two back of bottles of this one and also this one. Um, but if it gets discontinued, I will be so sad and I will probably buy literally 10 bottles or more because this is my favorite scent and it is from Kayali and it is called Musk 12. And this is just like the most perfect scent I have ever tried. I really really like musk so it is very clean but a little bit sweet but also musky so this one is just the perfect scent for me. I spray it every day even if I'm just going to be home. I don't like heavy scents and I feel that this one is just the perfect amount for whenever I'm home but also when I'm going out I take a little bit more but this one is the best scent that I have ever tried. Hopefully it will not get discontinued. Um, that's my favorite signature scent and this one is probably the scent that I'm going to use the most this year. Uh, that was my fragrances for 2024 and I also have some hair mists. I also have Bioretto Gypsy Water and I also have the Baccarat Rouge 540 in hair mist. I also have the perfume but it is a scent that I feel I smell a lot when I'm out. So therefore I, I like this scent but at the same time I don't like that so many people wear it. I like to have rare fragrances that you don't normally smell every day. So therefore I just use the hair mist now and I can for example use this one as my fragrance and this one in my hair. So that was the fragrances that I plan to use in 2024. I really like fragrances, so I think I'm going to buy a few new ones this year. And of course, I will link everything below so you can check them out if you want to. Let me know in the comments what are your signature scent. I'm very curious to hear that as well. And if you're not done watching me yet, here is another video and goodbye.